<laughs> Today I'm working on this 1982 Easy Go electric golf cart. It's 36 volts, and I'm going to be replacing the key switch with this one here. Now this one works fine. There it is. But it only has the two pins on the back. And what I want to do is start having a set of lights on here, but I don't want to drill another hole for another switch, and I want to try to keep it original as much as I can. And uh, so I picked up this switch, which actually has three settings on it, so it'll turn on like normal. Let's see if I can get it to turn with one hand. Uh, maybe. Mm, there. It, well, there it turned twice. It has one click, two clicks. So the first click... When it does that, it'll just be the normal on position, and you do one more, if I can do it, there it is, and that will be the on plus accessories. And the nice thing is, I'll put this in here, and it's going to look exactly like the original, but it's going to have an extra functionality of being able to turn on lights. Now, the lights are coming in a later video, but for now, I just wanted to show how this thing works and how to replace it. So here's the wiring diagram for this thing, the uh, top left one is the battery and the bottom left one is the ignition the eye and those are the two that are going to be direct replacements for the um the switch that's there now and then later i'll hook up the battery one which would be a 12 volt positive input and then the other one going to the lights for the 12 volt i actually have a 36 to 12 volt converter which i'm going to plug into this so that way when i turn the switch all the way on then it will turn on that converter when you turn the switch just to regular on, it will turn it off so that way you can control the lights with the switch. And so, and like I said, don't have to add any extra buttons. So anyway, I'm going to hook up the B and the I into this one after I get it um, installed into the cart. Good, there's the old one, and it should look a lot like the new one. <laughs> yeah, they look pretty much identical. Anybody who sees this won't even know that it's a different switch. I'll probably keep this original switch just in case somebody wants it later, but for now, this one will do just fine. I'll go ahead and set this nut to be about the same distance out on the threads as the original one, that way, It'll be pretty close when I go to install it. For these two wires, the blue one, which is very dark, <laughs> gray because of how dirty it is, black, that is the uh, battery wire. And then the yellow one is going to be the ignition wire. So we'll plug those into the B and the I. So here are the wires installed on the back of it. And like I said, they're connected to the B and the I. The blue goes to the B and the yellow is going to the ignition. And you know the yellow is the ignition because if you follow it down, it goes over here and it connects, you can't really follow, but it connects back here to the um, solenoid right here. That wire doesn't look very yellow, but it is, it's just very dirty. So the yellow is going to the ignition and the blue one is coming in from the battery. I made sure the ignition was turned, oops, ignition was turned over to off. So that way when the key goes in, it should, there we go, go up to on and then all the way over to the accessory to turn the lights on. So when somebody drives a cart, they just turn to the first notch and the cart becomes drivable. Maybe. Oh, gotta put it in, put it in forward, here we go. Oh yeah, there it's going. I'll put it all the way over to the uh, accessory and it still goes. I'm over here pushing the gas pedal. Oh yeah, there it goes, okay, good. It works like it's supposed to. It goes to on and it turns the cart on and all the way over will turn the lights on later. So anyway, that wasn't too bad. The, uh, the old switch is pretty old. I'll probably end up keeping it just in case the next owner of this cart wants it. But who knows how long that'll be and who knows if I'll still have it by then. Anyway, if you have any questions about replacing this, let me know. Another video will be coming later that will explain how to set up the lights and how to wire in the 36 to 12 volt converter. And um, so we'll see how it goes then. All right, 
and that's all I got. Thanks for watching.